I mean, you could also see the back side of water Epcot that is no. not where you want to <laughs> the And the back side of water. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but um, the sewage treatment plant over there. By yeah, us. it was. <laughs> yes, exactly. Yeah. We ate. We we ate it like every place except for Cape May. So. Oh. Oh, you. Yeah, we, you we, dodged a bullet. Yeah. Oh uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. And I I tactically avoided. It. Welcome back, Walt Disney World fans, to another episode of The Knotcast, presented by KnotClub33.com. <laughs> On the show this week, we're talking the Yacht and Beach Club at Walt Disney World. My name is Steve Rhodes, and with me this week, it's Becky Wells. Hey. Pat Neistat is also here. What's up? And the dancing Disney cynic, Mr. Bobby Burchins. I think hmm. this dancing bit's going to catch on. I only have to do it Maybe. for like 30 seconds or something. So awesome. <laughs> it's good work. I mean, you, got, you were stealing the Travolta moves there. I... <laughs> uh, staying alive absolutely affected my life on a deep and spiritual level. Well, okay. that was clear in apparent. Uh, <laughs> what, was clear in apparent? Yes. what was clear in apparent? He's up and eat now when we start. <laughs> yeah. Awake. Uh, <laughs> what was clear and apparent when you click that thumbnail is today, we're talking about the Yacht and Beach Club. Last week, we did the boardwalk. We're just moving a couple doors down. Becky, you've had the most recent stay there, August of 2023. So let's give you the floor. Give us your thoughts on those facilities. All right. Uh, so we stayed in a one bedroom. I had my three older kids with me on this trip. And so... Um, as we talked about before, this is another one bedroom that sleeps four people, but you can have five. <laughs> and uh, the, like the layout's a little weird there too, but somehow it seems like it's a little more space to be able to like make that fifth person have a spot. However, my 14 year old decided that spot was the like <laughs> bench seating for the dining table. And he just took a blanket <laughs> and laid there like a hobo. So <laughs> he was cool that I said, I didn't really give a crap because I had the bedroom. So <laughs> there you go. Oh yeah. And you're speaking specifically of the beach club side in the DVC area. Yeah. I'm sorry. Yeah. Yes. One bedroom yeah. on the yeah. DVC beach club side. Yep. And yeah. um, so we actually, we could see a uh, spaceship earth from our room. Oh, Nice. Um, which was kind of cool. Yeah. So that was nice. Um, I mean, you could also see the back side of water Epcot that is no. not where you want <laughs> to and the, and the back side of water. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but, um, the sewage treatment plant over there. By yeah, us. it wasn't, <laughs> yes, exactly. Yeah. It wasn't a great location for using any amenities and it's not a great location to get to Epcot from where those rooms are, which is one of my biggest gripes. But uh, it wasn't, mm. it's not like it's a far walk. It's not bad. It's just not like super convenient. It takes, you know, maybe 10 minutes to walk to the marketplace where you can get food and to the oh. pool, which is right there, all that stuff. It's, it's fine. It's not that bad. Um, the room was pretty spacious and the overall, the amenities are fantastic there. There's so many options. There's a little DVC like sitting room lounge thing. Uh, yeah. Yep. And we used that while we were like waiting to, before we went and like got our Uber to go to the airport and, you know, had like our lunch in there and it was quiet and air conditioning and nobody's in there. There's a pool table. Like it's nice. You got some time to chill. Uh, that's not in the busy lobby. That's always good. So yeah, we ate, we, we ate it like every place except for Cape May. So. Oh, oh! You, yeah, we, you we, dodged a bullet. Yeah. Oh uh, yeah, <laughs> yeah. And I, I tactically avoided it. Uh, that was going to be my con. <laughs> and you ate it. Did you? You ate at the marketplace. Yep, we used the marketplace uh, for a few different meals. Um, just grab and go, and then they also have like their quick service hot food, and it's kind of connected. Their gift shop is all. It's all like right. one. Yeah, and then we, we had Beaches and Cream one night, uh, which was great for oh. a late night reservation. When you're awesome. staying there, you can just go down in your pajamas if you want or whatever. Like, <laughs> right. Uh, the pool, Don't obviously. The there, we ate at the pool bar. We just we just did the massive uh, kitchen sink because oh. it was cheaper. Oh, yeah, that's what you want to do. For four of us to split the kitchen you sink. You don't want to eat. You do not else. eat the food at uh, <laughs> Beaches and Cream. Yeah. It's just terrible. Extra. 
And At least for me, I, it was. I mean, I've I, I've had a couple of decent experiences over there, but also, yeah, I'm with the food milkshake. Yeah, I mean, uh, no, I'm talking about the ice cream. The ice cream is great. Yeah. The dumpster yeah. juice chots. <laughs> <laughs> There's a video on the channel. Oh gosh! <laughs> Link above past head. You can oh, watch God. the uh, three minute dining review of Beaches and Cream. <laughs> Yeah, and then we had we ate uh, breakfast one day at the on the yacht club side. Like I've got, I've got all kinds of things to talk about. So you guys tell me what, <laughs> and I want to hear from you know what everybody else likes too. It's not, you know, I I've stayed at both the the DVC and the the, the regular cash side. I guess uh, yeah. I prefer the cash side to the DVC uh, side, but again, your mileage may vary for for your traveling party. Uh, on something like this, just for me and Amanda, it's more comfortable to have a, uh, you know, full king size bed as opposed to a full, full bed, you know, or whatever they're, they're calling that. <laughs> that's it's not a queen. I refuse to call that thing a queen. Um, just bring a tape measure. It'll settle it really quickly. I, I mean, yeah, d- believe me, I am, sir. I'm bringing yeah. a tape measure. Uh, <laughs> it's a one measure, bedroom right? has you a queen nice bed. Phone, yeah, the one bedroom does, but that's way more expensive for both points and cash to to try to get a, a one bed over at uh, Beach Club. But honestly, the 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 uh, regular cash side of, of Beach Club, I think, might be better for the from the amenity standpoint. The villas over there with the DVC side are really like tucked out of the way compared to the rest of the resort. Whereas everything else, you can kind of easily get to the marketplace, beaches and cream, the pool. You know, though that to me is a little bit more important. So, like we, we say, location, location, location. The DVC kind of puts you in the shittiest spot of the location of this resort. Mm. We do get to Epcot yeah. quick, though, depending on where you Once are. Once you get to that the pathway, <laughs> yeah. then it's fast. Getting there I was really hard when point. I say there, I was really close to the pathway. Pat, what you is? I mean, you've been the there right recently. Door. Yeah, so I stay. We stayed in a studio. We stayed like closer to the Epcot side of where it was. So it was kind of, if you wanted to get to storm along Bay or you wanted to get to the restaurant, it was a little bit further walk. Uh, but you were right out the door to Epcot, you know, and that's hard. That's just hard to beat for me. That was yeah. to me, that's like one of the best parts about the whole resort, that in the pool, you know, and the bar at the pool. Yes. Hurricane. Yeah. So I think it's, I think it's called like hurricane. Hannah's yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. They got these I don't big think ass do drinks. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. They'll get you real drunk Wish quick. Me. So <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I could do a full like like week long stay at Beach Club just because of the the rooms. And fair enough. I mean, Kate May and the marketplace breakfast. Um, the problem is Kate May smells like bad fish all yeah. the time. Yeah. yeah. All well, the. The marketplace, particular for me, that their gluten free options are terrible. Uh, when we first stayed there, they had none. But now, when I, I was uh, we stayed at Boardwalk, I looked at what they had to offer over at the Beach Club, and now they have like a they have like a chili dog and uh, like a pulled pork sandwich now. So at least they have some options for people with allergies, but uh, it's not the best. Is that served on cardboard? Yeah. No, oh, fair enough. Okay. Paper plates, baby. Uh, I, I pretty much. The, that has more. That or, it's though. like yeah. super rock hard bun, you know. Obviously, the elephant in the room with uh, Beach and Yacht Club is Storm Along Bay. Um, I think objectively the best pool at Walt Disney World that's not at a water park. <laughs> um, Becky's shaking her head, but Becky's wrong. Yes, uh, very, very wrong. <laughs> Too many fucking people. So that's why you go is, in December and there's nobody in the oh, pool. And it's I a little bit cold. Him. Who cares? And in, there's the nobody there. The water slide sucks. Yeah, the, the water slide sucks. sucks. What's better water slide? Sand at the bottom Kidani. of the pool. They have a lazy river. They have waterfalls. Yeah. They have hidden it's grotto cool. like hot stuff tubs. To do. Yeah. I like the pool area. I just don't think it's the best. I just think it's yeah, cool I like, as a sand bottom. I mean, that to me is just like, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's like, what the hell? It's the showstopper. Yeah. 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 That's what it's like, all about. No yeah. cess. If there's sand, you. there's no cess. I don't understand. It's filtering the cess. <laughs> it's filtering the cess out of this pool. <laughs> That's, That's the only time I've been in a Disney pool. Oh, wow. They also have the Santa Claus hot tub, right? So they do. <laughs> <laughs> we don't want to get into that. It's, no, we that should. Very it's, inside joke. Just leave it in. <laughs> <laughs> it's just a callback. We've talked about it before. Yeah, for sure. I don't think he's ever given the story, and we'll just let it not. Yeah, let's not. Yeah. 
I could I could talk. I could tell it. Not the not yeah. the creeper slater. <laughs> uh, well, as terms of location, I mean it's some it's similar to what we said uh, a couple weeks ago with boardwalk. You can walk to Epcot. I think there's a caveat Studios. there. Yeah. Walk into if you were where I stayed and you walked to Hollywood Studios, it would be miserable. That's a long fucking walk. Yeah, yeah. you wouldn't. Yeah, it's do not that. good for Atlanta. studios. It's only good for Epcot. That's my opinion. Yeah. Yeah, I agree. I agree with that one hundred percent. One hundred percent true. But you got the but friendship also, boats. Yeah, yeah, the boats. You got the boats. That's, that's where I was yeah. going. Yep. Yeah, and that's the way to go. When when one thing, if you're doing cash, I would, I, I might even tend to be on the yacht club side because yeah, then you're going to be, yeah, because then you're going to be closer um, to the Swan and Dolphin food, which is just going to give you like more high end stuff if you're into that. And I'm more mm-hmm. of a foodie type, so that would be like my play with the the sushi restaurants and all that stuff. So. Think about that if you're going to do the cash room. So, yeah. But if we got to pick, and I guess we have to because we're, they're well, so close to each other, the Yacht and Beach Complex or Boardwalk side, where are you staying, Bobby? I'm staying at the Yacht and Beach side because of the pool. I mean, that's okay. ultimately the determining factor for me. I I like the location a little bit better for, for Boardwalk, but the way that I do Disney is different than the way that uh, I think everybody else probably on the panel does, <laughs> does Disney. I actually want to take in more of the resort and like explore more of the amenities of the, the hotel side of things because, well, I mean, I go to the park all the time. I can go there, you know. T- tomorrow night if i wanted to and it's not not yeah. a huge deal for me to, to be that sense. close pat where would you stay hmm. one thing i will mention about yacht and beach club is the yachtsman we forgot to talk about that they have um oh yes uh yeah, we, really, there's lots we of dining there. to talk about <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah i we, mean we ate there, the dining is um, fantastic for the most part <laughs> yeah between uh, <laughs> we ate there for, uh our last trip and we really enjoyed that and then also I'm going to go back to the beaches and cream. It's like, to me, that's the best place to get ice cream at Walt Disney world's for like, it's just like kind of a fun place and ice cream's not bad either. Um, but if I had to choose between the two resorts, I would stay at the boardwalk just because of, uh, it just seems closer to either getting to Epcot and, um, Hollywood studios. For DVC, and if side, I wanted to sure. walk through, uh, yeah. you know, and I don't get in pools, so it's not that's not like a big thing for me. <laughs> Becky, what about you? Uh, if I, I boardwalk, boardwalk for sure is my answer. <laughs> but, yeah. um, but if I had like unlimited food budget, like there's, I can also just walk across to yeah. go over there. But like, uh, I mean, yeah. Club has cruise cup lounge and oh you said the magic they, word you're in trouble I, <laughs> but they also have i know they also have ale and compass uh which i've been there for lunch and it was pretty good and not yeah. a terrible value um but their breakfast is like honestly the most economically priced giant ass breakfast i've come across at disney world outside of maybe like shades of green which i won't count in this but it's like so they have we'll review like, it. what's that we'll review that too yeah. one day yeah. it's it's there's a buffet that's not a whole massive buffet but it's got lots mm-hmm. of options there's hot and cold things up there but then you also have this entire ass meal like as one part and it's like 20 bucks and it includes i think bucks? it includes like your drink it's so inexpensive i could not believe the price How much so is, I'm uh... thinking, don't let don't let the word out I guess yeah, yeah, too late. Yeah, y'all, so y'all pay twenty dollars at my at my place. I was, I was <laughs> expecting phosphorus. like the hot meal that they give you on a plate to be like I got like the oh, French like toast and I'm thinking like a, ch- a one piece, and it mm-hmm. was like so much food. I number one couldn't eat just that plate alone, but I had also gotten like some hot cereal from the thing and some fruit. I'm like, well, I can't eat fucking half of this. This is way too much food. <laughs> That's it. I mean, it's. It's incredible. I couldn't, I was blown away by the quality, the quantity and the price wow. uh, as a combination. And I'm like, all right. <laughs> so <laughs> I, go. I got to give them props. Like the fact yeah. that I could easily get a reservation with very little trouble and uh, the servers knew oh. what the hell they were doing. That's a plus. I would say and yeah. it wasn't super pricey, which is why I said, let's try it. <laughs> I would, I would, Add that at both Boardwalk and Yacht Beach Club, 
getting reservations to any of those restaurants is pretty easy with the exception of uh, maybe beaches and cream. So I yeah. mean, that's yeah. what makes both those resorts great to stay at. Beaches yep. and cream, you can usually snag a walk up. Uh, if you're yeah. staying there, it's a lot easier, but you could even pop sure. over from Epcot. That So that is, I mean, even though it's really small capacity wise, like. Yeah. They accessible. also have the, the to go window for the ice cream, which I think is a, is a major a benefit. The, if, if you're big just drinks, looking yeah. for the. Yeah. Uh, Some for of the, the stuff. Yeah. yeah. That's nice. Uh, I would, I would pick the, uh, the boardwalk here, but that's because the way I vacation is just going to be longer. <laughs> um, if I was doing a short, no, no, I was always stay, on the other side. I'd probably, I'd probably do beach club <laughs> just to have the pool. Um, just to have access to the pool if I wasn't going to the parks or anything like that. Yep. Mm-hmm. But I prefer the boardwalk for like the whole encompassing Disney thing. So that's it, just it's not that you're, preference. You're, you guys yeah. are wrong about any of that stuff. Like I said, I, <laughs> I just vacation yeah. differently than you guys yeah. do with no kids and, and everything. I feel like I'm speaking for the, I understand your point. Disney adult. For sure. You know? Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah we stayed there when point. we had no parks. Like that's why we were there. See, was, that's like, why I would think that you day. would like, I'd think that you would like the boardwalk over the beach club for that reason. But you can still I feel like have if you have kids the, and you still have all the, the, the access to oh, to all the stuff over at boardwalk, same thing, vice versa, mm-hmm. I suppose. But you know, you, mm-hmm. you have access to all the, the, the boardwalk amenities, the restaurants, the shops, even the yeah, I guess everything that makes and it and great you, you have access from to your room. Yeah. Uh, in in some True. cases, if you're yeah. you know, staying on the cash side of things. So I, to to yeah, me, true. like you're you're getting all the benefits of both, and it, it ultimately depends on, you know, I guess your preference of if you want the best pool or not is really your view. It your view is better from Beach Club because you get to look at Boardwalk versus looking at yeah, the beach, which is like <laughs> all you see is the pool, and like I don't want to look at people <laughs> yeah. anywhere. That's well, a far away. You don't see people. The Boardwalk the view pool. is beautiful from the other side. I agree. Press it. <laughs> All right. What are you guys' thoughts at home on the Yacht and Beach Resort? Which would you stay at? Uh, would you pick Boardwalk? Would you pick Yacht and Beach? Let us know down in that comment section. Do you guys like these resort reviews that we're doing new to the show? Uh, if you want us to keep doing them, let us know down in the comments, and uh, we'll do some more of these. So uh, while you're down there, just hit that subscribe button. It really would help us out. We'd appreciate it. And hit like because it boosts us in the YouTube algorithm. For everybody here at Not Club 33, have a great day.